Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out Half Right by Mr. Chopsticks, otherwise known as Xanderpixels. This chest chamber relies on angled portals and angled panels. Difficulty easy-ish. Enjoy, rate, and comment. Right, Xanderpixels is another YouTuber who sometimes plays Portal 2 maps, and they're currently playing Horizon Zero Dawn on their channel. Go check them out when you get a chance, there'll be a link to their channel at the end of this video. Right, also, I forgot to mention that we need to look at the request, which is way too big to fit the screen. Let me just fix that real quick. Uh, fit to screen, thank you. Yes. So, also let's zoom in, because why not? Which games? Blah blah blah, with Pixels. What kind of feedback? Any sort of feedback is appreciated, but I'd like to know if I accidentally left any possibilities for multiple solutions. I will check for that. I want to be noticed by LB so I can get a warm, fuzzy feeling inside. <laughs> oh, yes. That's funny. Right. Back to the game. If I can, please, Windows. Thank you. Right. There are a lot of ant lines around here. It looks a little bit messy, but... What is going on here? So it's like a cube that we have to catch through the death grill? Not sure what the death grill is here for, though. Looks like there's a portal surface. Why is this... like this? Oh, I bet... Cause like, if it's a flip panel, then our portal wouldn't be able to stay there. Maybe our portal needs to be able to stay there. Interesting. Cause there's an actual flip panel, so it's not like Xander Pickles doesn't know how to use flip panels, but there obviously is a flip panel there, so... There must be a good reason for that. We have a light bridge going into another flip panel. Hmm. I guess we should start by pressing this button, dot and square. Wait, what? Okay, maybe we need to start with the laser or something. Uh, except where would I shoot the laser to? I'm still tired from the previous episode of Portal 2 Petty. PTI, however you want to say it. Uh... I'm a bit unclear on the concept. How do I... how do I hit that? Oh, that's something I didn't even consider noticing. <laughs> so that... Oh, what? That's not useful. That's not useful. Oh, right, okay. I thought I was gonna have to move an angle to hit that, but no, yeah. Does that auto-respawn? It seems to. Uh, now what's the best way to get it? Can I just grab it as it bounces off to us? Not sure that's intended, if that is intended. Um, actually. What if- what if I do this? Maybe that's supposed to be what we do? Okay, that's much better. Right. What is the purpose of this situation? Right, I need to go do this again. I mean, I could easily grab it. Whoa! <laughs> I got the timing perfect on that! <laughs> Normally they just get stuck and stuff like that, but that time it actually launched it. So... One thing to be aware of is when you take... Wait, when you give the player an object that they manipulate and, like, put it in a receptacle or whatever, if that's all they do with it, then it's pretty much pointless. Because they, they need to actually use it multiple ways, otherwise it's just, like, a fetch quest, basically. So, I don't see anywhere else to put this unless I would move it to there, but we don't need this on that button anymore, so, like, that button's not needed anymore, so I can just do this. Right. What is the light bridge for? And why is there a way- a place to stand up there? Interesting. And why is this a laser cube? Hmm... I guess we would put the laser cube up there? Or something? No, because- No, because we need to have this still on- We need to have this still on here to open that up, right? What does this do for us, exactly? I guess it gives us... a way... 
I don't know what this does for us. But it certainly keeps our portal there, so... I guess that's a thing, right? I have... several questions. Hmm... So we wanna hit that, right? Cause that opens the exit. Well, we do need this, at the very least. We can also get to the light bridge through this method as well. This works too. Come on. Don't kill me, please. Oh crap. <laughs> Ouch. There we go, that works. And, of course, we could do that method, but who wants to do that the easy way? Right. Um... I think, theoretically... Okay, so that's the wrong way, interestingly enough. Then what is that for? Because we need that, don't we? Do we actually need that? Or was that only a one-time use thing? What all does this do again? Maybe we didn't need it. So then, our goal was to use this to get up here. Okay, I see. I got stuck this whole time because I thought I needed a cube on that button, but I didn't. But it's still... still not the best in terms of design. Anyway, let's- let's just aim this. Cause the light bridge doesn't turn off, so we can just do this. And... yeah, need to move this up, please. Yeah, there we go, the exit's open. Oh, yep, so. Definitely an easy difficulty puzzle. I think- I think that, as I said, is unnecessary because you never do anything else with it once you put it on there. Uh, the laser cube... does have a use, but the use it has is to get that, which is useless. And that was only used once by me, at the very start, to get the laser cube in the first place. So yeah, could- could use some improvement. Definitely. I would recommend checking out Rectorox's guide in Demon Urizen's video series if you want to make better maps. But this is definitely better than the first map I ever made. The first map I made was just, like, terrible compared to this. Anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!